long header biceps tenodesis using an interference screw within the groove. This is a left shoulder. The scope is viewing laterally in the subdeltoid or anterior compartment. The probe there is just being used to feel the top of the subscapularis. With the radio frequency probe, we're now just dividing the top of the transverse ligament, and you just begin to see the long head of biceps. I'm going to take this dissection a little bit more in theory so that we can fully mobilize the long head. So, when you expose the long head, it's actually quite easy to dislocate. And using the end of the radio frequency probe, we can dislocate it medially. So it's pulled medially and then it's going to be held there with a spinal needle. So we can see the groove. We're going to use a bicepter technique. So this is the guide drill that's going to be drilled into the position where we want our tenodesis. Drill that down to about 45 millimetres. This is going to be over drilled by a 7 millimetre drill down to about 35 millimetres. So this is going to create our tenodesis socket. So that's been prepared. We haven't yet done the tenotomy. And what we're going to do is we're going to suspend the long head of biceps just below the tenodesis site, so it's holding, held in position. So we, when, when we do the tenotomy, the tendon is going to suddenly retract. So when we do our tenodesis, it's going to be at the right tension. So we're in the joint. We've done the tenotomy. You can see the tendon didn't retract. So the tendon is still in position. So we're going to go back to our tenodesis site and using the uh, needle with a forked cannula, we, with a forked probe, we can then impact the tendon right down into the base of that socket. So having pushed that all the way down, we're then going to put a 35 by 7 millimetre interference screw. We're going to screw that over. So that's going to get nice compression of the tendon within the socket. We're using the cannula to stabilise the tendon so it doesn't rotate down. So we're going to screw that all the way in. So we've got a nice strong fixation. You can see the tendon hasn't retracted. So we've got a nice tenodesis at good tension. And just see this is the top part of the tendon which we're going to remove and you can see there's a little hole back into the joint so this is where the long head of biceps was previously positioned.